Before the events of the Great War, children all around the country would be terrified of a story about a child killer named the pint-sized slasher. Originally said to be a myth, the person known only as the slasher would go around terrorizing children, appearing from within a dog kennel and only emerging at dusk. Wielding a supposed toy knife, this story allowed for the pint-sized slasher to be the second best-selling Halloween costume throughout pre-war America. However, in 2052, the pint-sized slasher actually attacked and committed a mass homicide within Linden Street. Walter Munro would write about these killings within the Capital Post, with Christopher Atkinson being the sole survivor after watching his brother Sean die in front of him, stating the Slayer was a male child. To this day, no one knows who the Slasher really was or if they're still alive, with many still dressing up as him. However, if you ever wanted to, you could fully become him by visiting Vault 112, entering Tranquility Lane and terrorizing the residents dressed in his mask and wielding his toy knife.